2018 Accord side view mirror replacement, the whole assembly. So mine's busted. Um, I'm gonna give you a heads up. This mirror is like the easiest and the hardest to replace. Mine's broke. Yeah, there's like three hard spots, but other than that, it's pretty easy. So I'm doing the whole assembly. This cap, you have to get separate. I'm gonna try to reuse mine. So first you wanna take off this side speaker. Um, what you wanna do is just kinda of pull it out and then lift it up. Um, I would recommend using like a plastic pry bar to kinda of get this off something like this or just something to get in on the sides and just kind of pop it loose there's two little green clips that hold it in place um, when you pull this off they'll either come off with this panel or they'll stay stuck in the door or they'll fall down into the door like mine did one of them disappeared on me like my dad so we got to disconnect this speaker right here there's a little uh, connector there's a button on it it's it's on the bottom so you got to kind of twist this thing upside down and get to push the button and then pull the wire uh, harness out try not to break it you know be patient with that it's a, it's a really small little wire could break once that's out of the way uh, there's my green clip like I said my other one disappeared it went down there if yours does that it's not really a big deal um, you could just get another one or just take your door panel off I'm gonna try to do this without taking my panel off those three things I pointed at are the nuts once we get those three things off and this connector that's off down in here we'll be able to remove the whole assembly so um, to get down there you want to push that little button so something like this um, just like that speaker harness you want to just get in here and push that button that's in the front of it and then lift this out uh, that's kind of tough that's one of the three things that's tough on this job is uh, pushing this little button and pulling this up uh, like I said I'm doing this with the door panel on so the longer the fingers you got the better or just use tools you know be be crafty get this connector now these three nuts are gonna come off they're a 10 millimeter I, I originally was gonna use just a regular 10 millimeter socket but um the way with the door panel on you're gonna want to use like a um, like a quarter inch socket because it's like a lot thinner and you could get in there better so once you get those three nuts off this little white part will hold it in place so you don't have to worry about it falling off but you want to pull it out you're gonna wiggle and pull the whole thing out the harness comes with it you'll get a new harness so if you messed it up trying to get it apart don't worry about it uh, we gotta get this old cap off this is this white part so this thing's the second part of the job that's kind of hard. You want to get this off, get something like this or like a butter knife and slide it in the in the, in the the crease and just work your way around and get it kind of popped off. These kind of break really easy, especially the older the car gets. So there's tabs in here that you want to avoid breaking. So just be patient, work this thing off. This large, this long tab is the one you got to worry about. Uh, that one, you'll have to uh, make sure it goes in when you put this one on your new mirror and and have it without without it breaking anyways here's my new mirror assembly it comes with a wire harness here's my part number this is from the honda dealership um it's that number and then like i said this has to go onto the new one they don't really sell it as a whole assembly from the dealer um if you got a new cap you might need to get it painted this will kind of go on uh, the big tab. You need to kind of manually put it in place when you're putting this on and you just, the rest will just kind of clip into place. Uh, just be super patient with this part. This is one of the parts that's hard. After that's on, uh, we're just going back together. It's pretty much gravy after that. Um, push this in. The white little um, Christmas tree thing will hold it in place. So then you can just put your nuts on and you don't have to worry about the mirror falling off. Uh, we got these two connectors we got to plug back in. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the three nuts back in. It's one, two, three. Um, get these in. I, I do a hand tighten them first, cause and be careful not to drop them, cause if you drop, drop them, then you're either gonna have to take the door panel off or have to listen to a door rattle when you're driving around, and and you have to get a new nut. So get these tight. You don't gotta tighten them mega tight. Just get them uh, snug plus a quarter turn. Now this part's a little tricky. You wanna get this connector back in that uh, connector down there. Um, it seems super easy, but it took me like a good five minutes of just constantly trying to do it. Just lining it up with your fingers and pushing it down can be a little tricky. Hopefully you're better with your hands than I am. So uh, I'll pull this green a um, little clip out. I, I tried to use a different clip, a red one is a little different size, but it would just fall off as soon as I put it, try to put it in there. So I wouldn't try to use um, something that you think would fall off. Um, getting the OEM clip would probably be annoying, but 
you know, that's, that's kind of what, uh, I end up had, having to do. So you get this in, you kind of got to like put it underneath the door panel first and then push it in place like that. Make sure you push it in and it clips tight. Make sure you plug the speaker in and then push your door panel in. It should like kind of pop a little bit to lock back in place. And that's it guys. So hope this video helped you out. Thanks for watching. Any additional information in the comments is appreciated. I'll see you next video.